Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'm showing you how I created this church flyer inside of Photoshop. Right? So if you don't mind, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you miss any videos I'm dropping after now. Without having to waste so much time, let's get started. Hold up, if you've not purchased your smart graphics premium assets, it's still very much available so you can click the link in the description of this video to get yours um, ASAP for your projects and for your designs. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is click on file and click on new like this. So I'm just going to leave in this at, um, change this to inches please and um, 5 by 5 please. And resolution stays at 300. I'm not going to give this a name, I'm just, you can give it a name by itself. First thing to do, click on the adjustment layer, click on solid color, and I'm just going to leave this color at white, like this. Right? So what I want to do next is, let me zoom this out, go to your text tool, and I'm just going to be typing something very, very simple. So it's just, let me change the color, and um, let me use this. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, right. So the resource file um, to this video is in the description of this video, right? So you can download and use for your project also. So you're just going to be Pentecost and like this. So select all of them, Ctrl G, and hide this. Right. So click on this and um, go to the resource file i'm going to bring in this nice looking flyer flyer is never nice looking right so i'm just going to drag the image drag inside here and drop like this okay so i'm just going to position this well and um, stretch it across like this and um, move it to this direction this is the part of the fire that i want to be seen Right, so you must also um, um, remember this also when you're designing yours. So just position it this way and um, double click on the background and select this black color to change the color feel and um, create a mask for this. So I'm going to wipe out these sharp edges. You can reduce the size of your brush like this and reduce the flow to like 39. So I'm just uh, make sure you're working on the white masks make sure you revert to the black foreground color is black and um, you get rid of these areas like this okay good so go back to your selection to and uh, put this in place well i'm going over to my resource file again and i'm just going to bring in the bed now so i'm just going to drag up to this point here like this and I'm going to make it big like this and um, click enter I'm going to bring in this fire also so this is the second fire I'm using now right so I'm going to rotate this this way like this and um, yeah I think this is perfect good to go so this one is just going to come from the bottom like this and click enter so mask it out and um, erase the edges my flow is set to 39 you can see easy peasy right good to go so select this change the blend mode to of course you guessed right screen so select um, the bed itself you can move it upwards like this and let's go and make it pop so go to camera roll like this so wait for photoshop to load up camera roll depending on the speed of your pc and um, on the basic is where the action is going to take place so bump up the texture like this I'm setting this to 100 clarity plus 17 and increase the shadow like this Oh, sorry decrease i meant to say right minus 100 and increase the highlights and um 
also increase the haze and um, what else what else am I missing out okay still on that basics so you can go to details and uh, increase the sharpening right you can see how the image is now far better than it was before and scroll down you can use my settings for this and all of this click ok so you can see how it was before and after right clarity matters a lot so i'm going to drag this fire layer just underneath take the bed up and i'm going to click on adjustment layer click on solid color so i'm going to use this color here this one yellowish color you can use any shade of yellow color it's perfect clip it to the image itself ctrl i to invert and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my brush and um, increasing my flow to 70 and i'm going to paint this color around the edges where i want to indicate that there's fire change the blend mode to screen and add some more colors here like this add some more colors here especially these areas like this like this like this uh, composition is actually interesting when you have um, when you know and you've mastered how to apply your lighting so I'm going to use a red because if you look at fire itself fire has red and it has yellow also so I'm going to use those two colors I'm going to click this one also you can right click and create clipping mask like that change the blend mode to screen you can see you have a nice red invert it ctrl i and with my brush selected make sure your foreground color is set to white and you can then go over to those areas that you've applied the red to and subtly add um, the red also to it like this just the edges you don't need to do too much okay so click um, still on adjustments click on photo filter and you're going to add this warming hue let me see um yeah click on this and change it to linear dodge add and you can drop the opacity like this if you feel it's too much and you can then go on to this guy here also and um, let's see i'm trying to look at the image okay so um go to filter go to camera raw again or this time i'm going to go to tilt shift yes tilt shift good so um wait for you to load up and yes this is what we want to work on it's going to come out like this so what i want to do is i'm going to drag this top part to this place um, yes, move it upward because I need the bird's eye to be in view, but I don't want the wings to be in focus. So I just want only the body, the leg, and the eyes. So this is like the perfect way to do this, right? So you can see that my blur is set to 15 px. You can reduce to 10, so it's not too much. And when you're done with everything, just click OK. okay so having done that um we're halfway through this already the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this nice image of the church it's like a church background if you downloaded the smart premium graphic assets this image is also part of many more images that are inside the asset that asset is packed and loaded with images for your compositions so if you have not downloaded it, if you have not gotten yours, you're not helping yourself. Right? So I'm just going to conceal these areas here with my brush and I'm just going to reduce my flow all the way to 18 and I'm just going to conceal this part too. Right? So I'm just going to create an adjustment layer 
and it's going to be color balance and I'm just going to increase the yellow increase the red I'm basically adding yellow and red because I'm working with something that has to be fire right so yellow and red and yeah we're good to go so I'm just going to turn on this Pentecost Ctrl T to select it and I'm going to bring it here and make it bigger like this right so um, you can still make it bigger but I'm going to leave my size like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image bring it inside like this and I'm going to place it directly on top of this image like this now um, um, watch what I'm doing with this so I'm going to go to blur Gaussian blur and yes 38.7 is a good place to be right so I'm going to stay here um, let's stay at 38 so I want to clip this image to those ones so you can right click and click on create scripting mask and well I just use the shortcut by holding the alt and I click on it so the next thing I want to do is I bring in the nice logo like this and I'm just dragging and dropping like this and I'm just going to take this up here and position this well here this way okay and um, I'm just going to go double click and click on uh, color overlay and make sure your color is set to white normal and click OK so you can see I converted this to white logo right by clicking on blending option so I'm just going to go over to my text to and I'm going to type okay um, this is going to get in the way um, text to make sure you type um, far away from the Pentecost so it doesn't disturb that so I'm just going to speed this up and type the other things I need to type into this design so this is Sunday and I'm going to add all the other details June 24th and yep okay so there you have it the information in the place it's supposed to be in the right places so we have it this way and um, our assets looking good a bit looking realistic with the fire around it I'm just gonna move this fire up a bit so um, duplicate this ctrl J duplicate this fire ctrl T flip it around like this and position this somewhere here yeah somewhere here and click enter okay great okay um so um let's add um let's make some corrections and make make some um um like the, for this one i'm going to reduce your pasty like this right so it doesn't get the in the way of uh, the details of our design right I'm gonna go up again and um, okay I think this is good so I'm going to um, select let's see make a snapshot control shift alt e to make snapshot of everything and um, go over to camera filter like this and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the temperature like this tilt it towards the yellow and I'm going to reduce um, reduce the tint like this and uh, what I want to do is I'm going to increase the vibrance like this and um, before and after you can see how much details adjustment has brought to the design all right guys if you've liked this video kindly forget to subscribe like the video very important and um, don't forget to turn on post notification i will see you in the next video i love you guys